I thought uh, Jong in the men's match was a more accomplished uh, net player too, by the way. He, he had some really good moments up uh, in the forecourt. Good feel on the volleys. Serbin stayed back there on the first one. Touched. Good call by the, the, the umpire there. She spotted that immediately. So what are you looking for, Fitzy, early on in this mixed doubles well, between uh, the teams? I think in doubles generally, I mean, percentages help. Uh, I mean, it sounds a little sort of mundane, doesn't it? But but they do. If you make a lot of first serves and you, and you make the opposition play a lot, it gives you a good building block. A lot of bounce in that uh, in that second serve. He's a tall man. He must uh, be all of six foot four in the old language, and he's a big athlete. Certainly has some strength overhead. So that bounced a little too abruptly there for Marquetta. Quick start for Team China. They're on the board. One love, first set. It's always interesting to analyse these plays and try and figure out how much time have they actually spent on court together, do you think, Fitzy, leading up to this United Cup? Maybe one or two, two sessions max? Probably. Yep. Um, and, you know, they generally train with their... their the guys usually train together and the yep. girls usually do, so um, probably haven't been on the, the actual court, but they would have discussed this, maybe, maybe hit a few balls together to discuss how they would play in, in the mixed doubles. I mean, it can decide the outcome so often. That was the beauty of the old Hopman Cup, um, wasn't it? The, it? It had that initial uh, unique one singles males, females, and then mixed doubles, and it was almost sudden death then, so the, the mix played such a vital role. Good concept. Look, both the Chinese players have superior backhands. Very strong on that wing, both of them. And, and you know, if you were serving here to them, I, I don't know whether, whether you'd go to the backhand that much. I mean, even when they know they're going to hit a forehand, it's not as effective as their two-hander. They are world-class on the backhand wing, both of them. We saw earlier on from Team China, from both players. Yeah, well, the forehand wing, I mean, that was a screaming winner, wasn't it? it, it it's just a little more erratic. It certainly was in the singles. And, uh, you know, the the technique is probably not as, not quite as ship-shape as it is on the, on the two-hander. Gee, they're good on that side. But he's got power, racket head speed. Well, that, that took some 
adaptation right there. I mean, it was a pretty good serve into the body, wasn't it? And and, and jammed him. You would you would think at least they they'd see the next ball, not hit a cold winner off that. It was maybe a tiny bit of luck involved here. It probably hit on the throat a little bit, but gee, he's dangerous there. And I would expect some of those to be going into the alley down the line at the net player too. So Marquetta might need to be <laughs> wide awake. On team Czech Republic. Well, he's got the versatility. You know, when he, you know, I mentioned that earlier. When he comes forward, he he understands how to how to volley, and he's he spent time up there on the practice court. Obviously, took some good speed off one of those balls to give himself a, a, a chance on the next. So two break points now for the Chinese. start now when you'd expect him to go there I mean it, it's generally and, not ta always. and targeting the female player as well well certainly certainly someone standing in the net there whose net game is man or female you know their net games generally are not as good these days as their backcourt game and uh, so his strength is going against her weakness there He's got feel. He's dominating the court at the moment. Well, Quinn really setting up Zhang there with the first serve, and that's what you touched on earlier, Fitzy. If, you, if the player can have a lot of high first serve percentages, it really just puts the team in good stead. It's like picking cherries at the net. <laughs> a little bit too far back. Yep. Vondrosa on those volleys doesn't really close in a whole lot. And not as comfortable, is she, up close. But keep in mind, the, these balls are coming at a rate of knots, so it's it, it, easier said than done up there. Long down. Competent players. And that's what Zhang Jinwen did so well in her singles. Is she just continued to back herself and and go for those forehands. It's her favourite shot. Has the ability to play it off both sides, cross court, down the line, inside out. Continue. Three love, first set. Well, Fitzy, they haven't really put a foot wrong, have they, Team China? Good no. first serves. Zhang, solid off the baseline, uh, solid, solid at the net, should I say. You know, they're, they're in form and they're, they're, they're confident. You know, when you win singles matches first up, you, it, it just gives you the ability to loosen up and feel good about yourself to raise your confidence level. And uh, yeah, they're on a roll. And Catherine, just from down there, how are you finding the energy from Team Czech Republic? It's been a quick start. They're down three love. Yeah, very different to the energy from Team China, i got to say. China just seem so relaxed. All the pressure's off them, isn't it? I can see, uh, I can see smiles, I can see high fives, I can see chit-chat. It's all just a little bit more flat, isn't it, in Team Czech Republic? You can see them here. It's just... It's all a bit of a struggle today, isn't it? And it, it's very understandable. First match of the season for both these two. They've both come off the back of losses. It's all totally, totally understandable, but it is 
it, it's a tough scene for them at the moment just now. They're searching. They need to find something. Yeah, it's, ob it's obvious, isn't it, Catherine, that there's just no uh, buoyancy in, in the pod there. Yeah, maybe they need to fake it until they make it because they're, um, they're not making good poker faces no. right now in terms of the body language. Well, I think Leheska here has to try and light it up. He's got to start doing the same thing that Zhang was doing in the other end. Dominate the net if he can. feel that Marquetta Bondrusco, I mean, Wimbledon champion, yeah. right? Not long ago, either. No, and I just thought she hit a wall at the end of her singles match, and, and I don't know, maybe it's carrying on, carrying over here a little bit. I mean, the sun's gone. Credit to Jung Chin when she came out firing, and I think it threw Bondrusco off a little bit. She wasn't able to find that rhythm. I mean, she showed glimpses in that second set, but then just in that third set, just kind of faded away a little bit. Yeah, sort of physically went away, I think. Well, they've called that good. I think both the Chinese players there thought that was long. <laughs> He's a character, isn't he? he? He could be huge for the men's game, yeah. this, this young man. He's 27. He's, he's... But what a character. You think of plays that you'd like to play with mixed doubles, he'd be one of them, wouldn't he? <laughs> Fifteen, fourteen. Yeah, she just doesn't feel good about herself, does she? Physically, I think it's where it starts. So facing another couple of break points. And he just doesn't have sort of the the knowledge, I think, at the net and the feel that his opponent does. He, it was it was the same in the singles today, and uh, I can't help thinking that you know it's easy to be critical about that. But a, a lot of the players, even the pros, don't spend as much time forward as they could. You know, and and it's important. You know, it comes down to that sometimes. If you want to have an all-court game, you need to be able to finish with confidence at the net. Good one there. And he was looking for it too. Good, good effort. Well, he almost has to lift Vondarusa up, doesn't he, a little bit, Lehechka. So you can see the last two points, he's trying to do something at the net. Sometimes it is about that. When one partner's down, the other one's up, it's trying to help each other out a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's good go. stuff. And set up by a beautiful forehand there this time from Von Druska, where she made the ball dip. Love 40. Put a bit of heat on that topspin uh, forehand. And... Well, it's all about setting up your partner, isn't it? Yeah. And that flat shot there fits, isn't yep. it? Yep, it is. Made it bounce, made the half volley difficult. So three break points now for Team Czech Republic to get themselves on the board. One saved. You know, Jim Curry was saying earlier in the singles that uh, Zhang Zizhen, he, his serve is, is, you know, it's meaty. It, it's without being excruciatingly fast. It's, you know, it's, it's, you, it's rarely over 200 Ks. Let's. 
even that one, which will measure the fastest on the speed gun the, for the right-hander on the first court. Down the tee, that's where he'll secure his faster serve. And even that one wasn't 200. But it, it's, it's up there, it's heavy, but it's not, it's not a monster. He got it over 200. 30, 40. But he has bounce on that serve too. The trajectory helps. And it's also just those few extra free points, isn't it? Or something, a weapon that you can rely on when you are down break point. So three good, very good first serves for Team China. Deuce, deciding points. So it's a deciding point, no ad scoring. The man will always serve to the man. Yeah. And this is where the planning between the the teams is so important. Knowing where your partner is serving, where the volley is moving. Four points in a row for Team China as they continue their winning ways. Five Team love, China. first set. Five against love, first set. Beautiful shots there of Fremantle, 20 kilometres south of Perth City. Fitzy, have you been there a few times? I have. Beautiful uh, spot, isn't it? Lots of cafes, bars, restaurants. It's the place to be, especially in the summertime. And there's Bon Scott, his statue. Lead singer for ACDC. Oh, you're, you too, you're too young. I do know ACDC, though. <laughs> Shook me all night long. Okay, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> but it is beautiful down at Fremantle. So many beaches. Port Beach, South Beach. Lots of things to do. Maybe Team China will have the opportunity to visit. But for now, they need to focus here on this mixed doubles. They're off to a flying start. Five love in the first set. Catherine, it almost seems like it's a repeat of the women's singles where Quinn was off to a flying start. Yeah, absolutely. And in the uh, singles, Von Joshua played a brilliant second set and it really felt like she'd, she'd found a game, found herself, found her energy. And then the, uh, the third set was really a return to the flatness of the opening stages. It was quite a bizarre kind of trajectory in that singles, actually, from Von Drosva. So it'd be interesting to see if history repeats itself here. As you say, it certainly is so far. So Yuri Lehechka will now be serving for Team Czech Republic and really needs to get his team on the board here if they are to break any sort of momentum. If you're the team captain for Czech Republic, what would you be saying to your players? Well, I'd get on the board yeah. first. <laughs> get your name up on in lights with with one game just to make a start. You've got to you've got to make a, an impression soon, or it'll be over. I, I think tactically, you know, he, he's got to hit a lot of first serves in, and uh, it depends how comfortable he is, you know, serving and volleying, you know, Laheska. And, and from what I've seen today so far. It, I can't see why that's his the number one forte. So it's going to be a tough road, I think. Chinese players showing a little more versatility for now. Good overhead and a change of thought process, I think. For Yang Quinn went there. She changed her mind, it seemed, halfway through that forehand, and the lob just wasn't substantial enough. Well, is that so that, you know, approaching the net that you touched on, Fitz, it's just applying that little bit of pressure and making Team China having to do something extra special with the ball. I think he has to serve there most of the time. I mean, he, Zhang will hit, he, he will hit some big forehand winners, but but 
it's a little more erratic. He mishits the ball a bit more on that wing. Yeah, yeah. Finding his range there. And so some good serving there. They're on the board. Still some work to do, though. Quick set, 20 minutes of play already. Let's preserve. Good combination. Marquetta there making a couple of reflex uh, volleys. It's more like a Wimbledon champion there. Beautiful. Straight at the feet. alive a little bit here. Well, they're starting to close in on the net, aren't they? Making more balls, showing a bit of a few signs of life. Maybe too late for the first set, but uh, at least they'll have some adrenaline going into the second if this continues. Yeah, imposing himself. This is better. Good stuff. Good to see. You have to try and intimidate there at the net. Good return. He moves. He sees where Quinn is about to hit the forehand across court, and he moves and cuts it off. And he's a good athlete. You can't doubt that. Saved. Still two more to come. smooth mover for a man of his size he just casually got back to that with a cross step crossed over to get back more quick uh, more quickly and he handled that easily Let's I'm keen to know what you and Catherine think about this young Chinese lady she's it's the first time I've seen her live uh, Today. Yeah. yeah, and uh, we can dissect that. I'm, I'm just yeah. wondering how far she can go in a big tournament, a big Grand Slam.
slight miss hit there for Von der Rosa. Well, a rush of blood somehow and uh, a waste. Gee, that... Well, sometimes they, to the eye, they look like the easiest shot to make, but not necessarily true. And just like that, having three break points, we're back to Juice. No ad scoring. Deciding point. And that'll do it for Team China. Four yeah, points in a row, and they've taken the first set in 25 minutes, six games to one. So, Catherine, a nice quick set there for Team China. And you and I were both chatting earlier about Zhang Chinwen and the sacrifices that she had to make at such a young age. Moved out of home when she was only seven years old, is that right? Yeah, that's my understanding. I was speaking to uh, Matt Futterman, a journalist from, from the New York Times and The Athletic last year, and, and he was telling me that he'd, he'd looked at, a little into her background as, as part of a piece on the sacrifices that, that young players have to make in order to, to give themselves just a chance at success. And my understanding is that, yes, she um, at the age of seven, she went to a, a kind of training camp away from her parents to develop her game and look you can't you can't argue with the results her uh, her game is is beautiful but what an experience that must have been for her and there must be a very uh, a very tough tough young woman in there somewhere to have been through that kind of experience um, I can't really imagine what that must have been like but uh, I'm sure she's got some tales to tell well, it's got now this far, hasn't it? Career high ranking of 15. That's where she's at the moment. She made the quarterfinals of the US Open this year. She won a WTA event in China later on in October and then made the final of the WTA Elite Trophy before going down to Beatrice Haddad Maya. So she's certainly got the potential. Showed glimpses of what she's capable of today in her singles and certainly someone to watch throughout this summer of tennis. I bet she's really enjoying the experience too, of playing with her uh, countrymen. He's, he's such a character, you know, you can see that they're, they're, look, he's making them all have fun. That's, and that sometimes that's is half, that's yeah, half the battle absolutely. sometimes. She's laughing, they're having a good time, they feel good about themselves. <laughs> Says. Cracking jokes with each other. It's all good stuff. Might have so to get him to recreate that dance later on. <laughs> New balls here for the checks. Well, that, that backhand can match it with anybody. Hello. Quinn there, she, she can hit that in her sleep, that two-hander. It's, it's a beauty. Well, the power doesn't phase her at all. She no. has such yep. good preparation. Her swing is smooth. Not phased at all. And the depth there causing yeah. Leheska some problems. And, uh, of course, having an imposing figure like this man at the net uh, doubles the issue for her, for him.
did well to get to that drop shot. Yes, yeah, good anticipation. She read it beautifully off uh, Vondruska's right. You could see here she's preparing early. You know she's going to hit a drop shot right there. And the anticipation was good, but I think because they were both t uh, tending to go for the same ball, they, they were out of position in the end. Yeah, good body serve. I think underused. Yeah, 211 kilometres too. That's a big one. It's an opportunity now for Team Czech Republic to get themselves on the board here in this second set. And a couple of great first serves will do so. So one love for the Czechs. Well, they needed, needed that badly. They, they need to try and change the momentum, just as uh, Marquetta did in her singles there for the second set, at least. <laughs> Gee, I wish I spoke a few more languages, Fitzy. Uh -huh. That would be a lot of fun. Both teams looking quite relaxed. One of my doubles partners back in the day was Thomas Smith, the Czech. I, I didn't learn too many Czech words. He knew, he knew some colourful English words, but he was a heck of a player. So it will be Zhang Zhizhen to serve for China. The slice forehand, I think, from Von Druska on the first quarter is not going to cut it. It's, it's not going to cut the mustard. She, she needs to try and get on top of that, get the ball down lower. She does that a lot in singles. She chips the return back. So yeah, but probably can get away with it in singles sometimes, but not a whole lot in mixed. Yeah. Well, the player's staying back in singles. So yep. if, if there's someone up at the net, that's an easy volley. Well, they got away with it there because Leheska did the same thing. And Catherine, having watched the women's singles or calling the women's singles, it's nice to see Zhang Chin Wen hit a few more volleys because she does not like moving forward a whole lot. Yeah, it, it, it certainly is. And the only way she's going to get better at it is by is by doing it, yeah. isn't it? So it's it's good to see her up there and giving it a go. I mean, that's the side, I think, to challenge all the time against Marquetta. That's the one that dropped away in the third set in her singles match, so I bet there was some homework done on that. Jung Chin Wen yeah, at ball. the net. Yeah. She holds her ground. Doesn't look phased at all. Almost expects the ball to come to her. Two days ago, she'd finished a hard practice session here on the, the main court, and I went out to the transport, and there she was going to the gym. Yeah, right. So, uh, she's, she's dedicated. She's strong, great physical presence. And easy hold there for Team China. That's that forehand from Fonderuza just seems to break yeah. down, doesn't it? Oh, they're just free points, aren't yeah.
15. Is there anything you would change, Fitzy, for team for the checks in terms of their positioning on court? Is there anything that they could do differently to try and get a few more points on the board? Well, I think I think there could have been some more homework done at the net to lead into this. Of the volley too, isn't it? It's yeah. one thing just to get the ball back, but it's also yeah. knowing where your opponent is and it's almost setting up your partner. Yeah, Yuri's forehand volley, particularly, there's there's not a lot of feel there. That it's a little bricky, and uh, he, you know, he, I mean, he's ranked 31 in the world. He's a heck of a player, but I think to go to the next level, he probably needs to improve that part of his game a little bit. I mean, they're, they're just too versatile at the moment, the Chinese. And just like that. Team China have three break points to continue on with their lead in this match. What? She missed one. She's allowed to. What? <laughs> Maybe on the forehand side, not, not on that two-hander saying earlier on in her women's singles just the pop that she gets off that that backhand in particular it's just so nice to hear they're too good gee they have belief that's for sure confident they are team china 2-1 second set you just sense that they gel well together, Team China. There really isn't that awkwardness or sort of uncertainty in terms of what one player is doing and the other one's doing. It's just, they're just yeah, well the, flowing. The, they've got all court games yeah. too. They, they, they volley better than the opposition. Uh, at the moment, they're probably serving better, uh, doing everything, they're returning better. So they're, they're really on top and uh, yeah, these are quality players. Uh, I remember I mentioned Lee Nair earlier and how, you know, we thought there was about 100 million viewers when she won the Australian Open and how big they can be for the sport. These two have some scope. And, and to me, they're so marketable, both of them. Characters and talent. Good fun. And with where Zhang Zhujian is currently ranked, he's 58 in the world, is there potential for him to move up in the ranks? Oh, I think so. Yeah. You know, in singles, I think I think he needs to improve his forehand. But, but look at that. That's how relaxed they are. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, they're cracking jokes. <laughs> I think he loves the dance. It's like a stand-up comedian. <laughs> well, it's refreshing to see Team China having a great time. Here in Perth. <laughs> Making me happy. <laughs> she, feel, she seems a bit lost there. I, I would have thought that the other court might suit her better because um, she's, she's a bit handcuffed with the forehand. And they're serving there a lot now, but nearly every time. And how hard is it, though, when you've got someone like Zhang Zhijian, who's 193 centimetres tall at the net, and how yeah. he's, a, he's a power stance at yeah. the net. He's intimidating. He is. I asked him in the post-match interview, I, was, I asked him about Quinn. I said, uh, you have a pretty good lady on your team too, right? Fo you've got a win on the board, now you've got Quinn to follow up. And he said, I have more faith in her than I do in myself. <laughs> <laughs> it was great.
it's a, sort of a funny action, isn't it? It's a little bit robotic in a way, a little bit sort of interrupted, isn't it? But it, it's effective and she's strong. That's why she can she can still crack the, the first serve. Well, it was something that we spoke about in the singles, whether it would break down. And to be honest, I mean, apart from maybe that second set where she did throw in a few double faults, it actually put her in really good stead. Yep. She won a lot of free points. I don't mm -hmm. think she dropped a point off her first serve when it did go in against Fonda Rusa. So she's, right. got, she's got the placement and the power. Yeah, wonderful return, setting up that intercept. That was a good first serve, and it came back with some interest. Well, to be fair, it was the 40, 30. it was the forehand from his partner that won that point for them. She was under the pump there, and Quinn Wen, and she uh, came up with a magnificent defensive forehand. That one made it impossible for Yuri to put that ball away, and that just took a little bit of talent. Yeah, consolidate the break and Team China lead three, games one, keep their lead six. in front. 3-1 in this second set. That was a great example there of the first serve from Quinn and mm -hmm. her ability to, to set her partner up, I suppose. Well, now these games, this is a must-win game now. You know, I always think in doubles, players that don't probably play as much doubles as singles, and when they play the eye formation, if they go down and put their knee on the ground, I don't know how fast they can get up to, uh, if a ball comes back at them at 150 kilometres an hour. Well, the purpose is to draw the ball to the person at the net, isn't it, on an yeah, eye formation? it is. like side commentary there from Jane. <laughs> you've got it, I've Person got it, you've love. got it. I thought you said you didn't speak Chinese. <laughs> I was just interpreting. <laughs> Big. Yeah. 177 Kilom kilometers per hour in the second serve. Nice change up there. Well, there's not a lot of wind out there, but he threw a bit of caution to it anyway. Big second serve. Keep their hopes alive. Team China lead three games. However, Team in China in the lead. 3 2, second set. Cool. Kath, what are the conditions down there? Is it heating up or is it cloudy overhead? What's your what are your thoughts down there? It's still pretty cloudy overhead. It's actually getting pretty lovely down here now. Once the sun has passed and it really is scorching, particularly 
in the absolute heat of the day. Once the sun has passed over, it's pretty nice down here. And the players don't seem to be suffering with that. I know they've played a lot of tennis so far today and Team China perhaps will have one eye on having to come back tomorrow evening and take on Team Serbia. I suspect maybe Zhang Zhezhen has a particularly big eye uh, on what he has in store for him tomorrow night, but uh, it's pretty nice conditions for tennis just yeah. now. Interesting to note that neither at, well, in the women's singles, that is, or the mixed doubles, no one's utilising an ice towel. I would have thought that that would have been something that the players would use, but clearly not needing to use that in this current moment. No ice towel for me either. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Beautiful shots of RAC Arena here in Perth, the 2024 United Cup. Beautiful retractable roof. Yeah, it's a serious sta stadium, this one. Time. World class. Well, it seats 14,000 RAC Arena. There's a retractable roof and an on site warm up court for the players. Team China, look, Team China looking to keep their noses in front here in this second set. They won the first 6-1. and They currently lead three games to two. This is serving with the forehand all the time there. Yeah. 15 love. She must feel a little helpless there, Marquetta, I think, on that court. Um, it, it's, it's a difficult ball to deal with and when you revert back to that slice return, it, it just sits there for the net play. Is that where maybe you would have both plays play two back oh, as opposed to have one so. in the net, one in the baseline? Oh, I think that'd be smarter. Yeah, yeah, I do. Just I to mean, allow themselves a bit more time. Well, it's easy to put the ball away, isn't it, uh, yep. Buana? And, and they're back now. They've listened to you. <laughs> you make a pretty good coach, oh, I think. I'll leave that to you, Fitzy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he started back and moved forward when uh, he was presented with an opportunity to volley. So good play. I think Marquetta should stay back here, though. Yeah. I mean, because coming into the net is not her not her biggest forte. Well, that serves just too hard, too good. 40, 50. Well, it's also just giving Team China a different look. Mm -hmm. They're just having the exactly. same. They just know what to expect now. and It's not hurting them. Yeah. But I think at least staying back here is smart because if she floats the forehand and he goes there most of the time, not this time. But game, easy game at 40-15 to go there. But if, if she floats team the first one back, the then seven, it's seven. a bit harder for, for Quinn then to put the first volley away if if Yuri is staying back also. So at least there, there's a thought process there. So Marquetta Von Der Rusa with some work to do now. The Czechs trail 2-4 in the second set. Fifteen. Gee, that was a clever backhand. I, I actually thought he maybe made a mistake there. I thought it was sitting up for his partner to take it on her forehand, but. He had to play that from low down and wide of his body, but the feel on this shot is really impressive to get that over and down low. And then he just anticipates the shorter ball, doesn't he? He's yeah. all over it. Yeah. Well played. Trying to dominate the net. 15-30. Was a bit lucky there. It came off the frame, the first volley.
There he is, that imposing figure. He's like... 15, 14. Like a tower of strength here. Well, I can see why Zhang Chinwen is enjoying herself, because she's not really having to do a whole lot. Gee, she's made a lot of good balls. She's, she's a good player. She is. Yeah, good serve. Okay. Get the big guy stretching a little bit for a change. But that was the first of three break points in a row because of the sudden death situation here. So one saved. Had the opening. It's not an easy shot to make, is it? That inside out backhand. It's such a small area of the court. So sudden death. I think match over really after that. Unfortunate for the Czech Republic here. So Team China, 6-1, 5-2. You could almost see that happening, couldn't you, Fitzy, when that ball went up in the air and neither player, Von Deruza nor Lehechka were... Well, there's no doubt that they're both going to go for it, really. Yeah, I mean, I, it, was a bit you can understand but both there. The, they were both within range, but then, then the racket got jammed underneath Yuri Leheska's armpit, actually, and changed the trajectory of the racket face. So sort of a, a summation, really, of, of the day for the Czech Republic. It's been a tough one. And resigned to the... <laughs> To the facts, I think, at the moment, and everything going the way of the Chinese team. They look very content. And I guess the beauty of playing a match before you know, Big Rubber tomorrow night against Team Serbia, at least they've got a match under their belt together, because if it does come down to a decider, Team China will be playing with full confidence. As we see... Novak Djokovic, that's who Team China will be playing tomorrow night, Team Serbia. Time. Yeah, we're, we're privileged to see him, aren't we? Absolutely. I mean, it's a great thing for Perth to have him here and to, you know, to create the interest that he does. It follows him everywhere around the world. One of three amazing players we've seen in this era. And uh, the one with the best record now. She served well today, hasn't she? 15 lines. Every ball to the forehand. Yeah. Virtually. They're smart. They've done their homework. They know the strengths and weaknesses. Good doubles there. Well, nothing 13. wrong with the return really yeah. there, Brianna, but it's a split second decision here you're committed to go across court and if the net player moves it's trouble Backhands. Two, like, two in one match. She might need to go out and practice those backhands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back on the practice court.
Fantastic tennis there. Good all-court play yeah, from all four all players. Check's trying to hang in. the Chinese were going to win that about three times there. 30, well, you could see Zhang Zhizhen trying to get up to every ball over his head. He was all over the net. <laughs> and a little bit of luck favouring the Czechs. Deciding point, but it's also where, a match, match point. point. Where do you think she'll serve? To the forehand. Oh, I think so. <laughs> I think she will. She might prove us wrong. Might shock us all, but uh, that would be the percentage play, I would think. And there you have it, Team China. Team China. Too good for the Czechs this afternoon. Six, one, six, two. 56 minutes. And they win the tie 3-0. Yeah, they were the better team, weren't they, Guiana? They, they, they had more all-court ability in this match, and uh, I thought their tactics were a little better. It was mainly the, the, the way they executed at the net, I think, that was the biggest difference, really. I mean, look, they, they, they returned better too, but I just thought that uh, they had an all-court ability more than the Czech team, and that's something for particularly Leheska, I think, to work on in his in his development as a player he's already you know, been in the top 30 of the world currently 31 but uh, to go to that next level we need more of an all-court game and uh, it's a tough school out here these guys were good though they were I thought they complimented complimented each other very well and played with confidence and Zhang Zhizhen was all over the net he really set up the points and I thought Zhang Chin Wen off the baseline was flawless yeah. And they had a lot of fun too. I think that that showed in their performance today. They gave us some fun. They did. <laughs> and more more to continue tomorrow night when they take on Team Serbia. And I, and I think sometimes in these uh, competitions and, and at the beginning of a new season, it brings up new stars. And, and for me, you know, I haven't seen enough of these two yet, but uh, they're going to be around for a while. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing how far they can go in the world game. I think it's a long way. Certainly is an exciting time. The Chinese tennis. And let's hear what they have to say with Catherine Whitaker. Well, Chen Wen, Zhizhen, congratulations. What an incredible United Cup debut for you both and for Team China. Was that as fun as it looked? Ladies first, please. <laughs> <laughs> what a gen. Chen Wen. Uh, well, you know, that's incredible feeling for me to play mixed doubles, especially with him. Well, I never had one doubles match enjoyable like this. I was really, really enjoying this one. You know, uh, it's just tough to explain. Before, I was thinking, like, uh, I don't want to play doubles, but right now, it's like I'm super happy to play these doubles with him. Same for you. <laughs> I'm so happy that she say it like this, you know. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm all, I mean, I mean, I love to play doubles, so I'm a pretty enjoy. I mean, especially uh, first match we played each other. So yeah, great match. You two have something very big in common. You were both the Asian Games singles gold medalists last year. Congratulations on that. 2024 is an Olympic year. 
That was a very successful mixed doubles partnership. Could we see it again in Paris in July? Uh, we need to put the ranking a little bit higher, you know. At the, at the moment, we are not enough to get in the mixed doubles. That's what I'm, we try, yes. Hopefully we can, hopefully we can play uh, singles doubles in mix. A goal for the year? Well, I don't know if the mixed doubles count the ranking of single or doubles. I don't know if that. Of, <laughs> yeah. yeah, if we can get in, of course, it will be enjoyable to play for our country again because we love to play for our country. When we play for our country, we we'll always give that extra. Yeah. It would be great. Something to think about. Now, just finally, no rest for the wicked. You play Team Serbia tomorrow. How are you feeling about that challenge? And Jijen, I'm looking particularly at you. How are you feeling about the challenge of Novak Djokovic? Well. <laughs> Uh, which is for sure, I mean, this, uh, this is, uh, how do you say, uh, I never played in world number one. This is first time. So, and also today we uh, had a two win, so I'm f I feel free, you know. Hopefully I can play my best tennis. I mean, hopefully, but we'll see. Is he going to win? Me? i just going to try to do my best on court and just enjoy on tennis, enjoy this court, enjoy to play in front of the crowd, and let's see what will happen tomorrow. Best of luck. We can't wait. Congratulations. They're two very likeable players, aren't they, Fitzy? <laughs> oh, yeah, better than that. I, I think they're like movie stars, both of them. It was fantastic, and uh, that brings a smile to all of our faces in this sport. Absolutely. And Nice to see them engage with the fans as well and have an opportunity to take some photos. What a moment for those two. But what a moment <laughs> for Team China today, winning both their singles, men's and women's, and taking that third rubber as well in the mixed double. So certainly some confidence to carry on into tomorrow night up against Team Serbia. But why not enjoy the moment, soak it all up. And let's just take a look at the match summary of that mixed doubles. Pitsy, what were a couple of key points that stood out for you in that well, I, I, match? For me, they, they almost did everything better. They, 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 well, there's more winners there. There's, um, you know, there's less errors. But they covered the net better. Uh, the percentages were better, uh, and, you know, and, and they served well at the right time. So, look, uh, a lot to learn, I think, for the Czech team there. But, but for the Chinese team, you know, this is like a, a almost a... I don't know, a, a party where they can come out and, and, and enjoy their tennis and realise how world-class they are, and, and it's going to test them, the next one, especially on the men's side. Uh, you know, to beat the number one player in the world is so difficult, and uh, as good as this young man is, it'll be a real...